Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ryan, and today we are discussing, in my, for my team's sake at least, the most important game of the week, the most important game um, until Bama, Tennessee versus Florida. They're playing at Florida, and we have a very bad history in playing at Florida, especially the last 10 times. We have lost, I think, every single time. We've not won in the past 20 years at Florida since 2003. And if you know me at all personally, or if you've watched this channel at all before, and you've heard me talk about Tennessee, you've probably heard me mention that my favorite team is Tennessee, but the team, the only team in America that I hate in college football is Florida because of the stuff that they've done to Tennessee as an early fan of the, as, as early fan as Tennessee, like the Antonio Callaway play on 4th and 14 that they scored a touchdown on, and the Felipe Franks Hail Mary to win the game with no time left. All of those plays, many others that, come to, that don't fully come to mind, but if I rewatch, I remember those plays during under the Butch Jones era were heartbreaking plays for me. And last year, it was a great game. Overall, I think if you are an unbiased fan or a biased fan in Tennessee's favor, you could understand. You would say, hey, this was a great game. Florida, no. no. If you're a Florida fan, you did not like last year's game at all. But this year, they're heading down to the swamp. And I would say this Florida team is worse than last year's, in my opinion. Why? Because you don't have Anthony Richardson. Anthony Richardson was a huge part of what actually made your offense work last year throughout the game and he was the main thing they had to guard and couldn't for three and a half quarters pretty much at least for two and a half quarters then we kind of got lucky at times and we capitalized on that but that was a very good game played by Anthony Richardson and it sh they show their flaws in their secondary before any other team did Pittsburgh showed a bit of it before but many teams showed their flaws in the defensive secondary was Florida and we cannot let that happen again because Gray Mertz is the quarterback and Gray Mertz cannot run. I have laid, I have laid the facts out in my opinion. Okay, maybe not facts, but in my opinions throughout the summer, I have said that I think Gray Mertz is the worst quarterback in the SEC. He is horrible in my opinion. And I said, I will just take my L and I'll own it if he destroys us. Or he plays good against us and they beat us. Well, he got his chance to prove that now, if in my opinion means anything to him, which I doubt. But let's see what he can do. Because he had a very good he had a lot of yards against against Utah, but they're kind of empty yards. 333 yards were only one touchdown. He threw an interception. It really wasn't his fault though. Ricky Pearsall just dropped it. But throwing it 44 times is not what they want. And 13 carries. For their team is definitely not what they want either. So Florida's got to fix that up. And the main thing they got to do is run the ball against Tennessee to have a chance because Tennessee secondary has improved a bit. But the rush defense is still about the exact same. They're a really good rush defense. And what has beaten them before Tennessee last year, the one against Georgia was that they had a pretty good run game. Then they would take the deep shots. South Carolina, they ran the ball decently well, but Spencer Rattler was just cooking the whole game. I doubt Graham Mertz is going to be like that, though. So, you have to play toward your environment, too. If you're in the swamp, use that to your advantage. Try to get the crowd involved early. Use some of these trickery plays to help get Tennessee offset. But for Tennessee, what you got to do is you got to play the game the way, not like last year, because last year, Hinton Hooker was just so good. We had great receivers. This year, we don't. We have the same receivers that made great plays, but are way worse. And I don't know why. Because people are talking about maybe Joe Milton throws the ball too hard. Man, this he, he's not a rocket launcher. This is not an impossible ball to catch. He can he hits them within range here, here, or here, and they drop it. It's not his fault. They've practiced the whole summer. They should know how to catch a ball from Joe Milton. But Joe Milton sometimes makes some bad decisions, makes some poor decisions. And 
And one thing about Joe that is a problem is his confidence varies so much, in my opinion. And you can just tell with his throws that his confidence is so off and on. He had a drive against Virginia my, that he was three plays were terrible throwing, were horrible passes. And then for the rest of the half, he, he never missed a throw. It was so weird. He and it was right after the deep ball worked. When he failed to when Ramelke had dropped the deep ball, it kind of set him off a bit. But after he hit one a bit, which is about 25, 30 yards, it was so good after that for him. And it was just great to see. Zo Miller cooking and all that stuff. But they got to get a deep ball to work early. Either it's Squirrel White, either it's Brew McCoy, either it's Ramelke in, someone get a good ball deep. And you got to protect that if you're Florida. The defense got to play better. And you got to make sure your coaching mistakes happen a lot against Utah. I can't let that happen. And they talked about that, those run games showing up against McNeese State. It's McNeese State, first of all. Second of all, this defense is very good at rush defense at Tennessee. You got to be able to attack them both running and passing. You got to, again, just be, if you can run the ball, you have a very good chance. If not, it'll be tough to see. But, uh, Tennessee should not lose. They should win. They're ranked 11th in the country for a reason, and Florida is nowhere close to top 25 for a reason. But it's Florida. And this game might be close, and I'm scared of that because I do not want to see that happen. But I have a score prediction. I think it's going to be... I got the score being 31... 31 to 20, Tennessee. It's going to be a close game, though. I think Tennessee might have one of those drives that's 24-20, and then they go and score late type of things to close it out. I think it's going to be very close. And I'm, as a Tennessee fan, I've been very nervous about this game. But if Tennessee wins this one, then my gosh, they might have some, we might be able to work with something throughout this year. This year could be something special. If Florida wins, then, hey, their season might change, might turn around completely. But, yeah, that's my opinions about this. Give down in the comments if you feel about this. And, yeah, hope you all have a great day. Stay safe, y'all. And God bless y'all.